The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman baseball coach Tom Griffin, I'm Michael Watchering, and this is CNEagles.com. As the Eagles get set to host Newberry, uh, coach, uh, you haven't lost a series to a Newberry program since 2003, the last time the Eagles won a regular season crown. I know that means a lot to you. I, I know you love those kind of kind of nuggets, but uh, this Newberry team uh, doesn't have Albert Bauer, but they get it done uh, in, in a lot of ways offensively um, in the sense that they're top 10 in the country in steals, sacrifice bunts, triples. What do you see from another good South Atlantic Conference Newberry team? You just described it all. Coach Triplett uh, has done a great job with this program um, developing his style you know, he played at Clemson and uh, is a Jack Leggett disciple. So you know that all facets of the game are going to be covered. Um, defensively, they're good. They communicate well. They have good team speed. They're athletic. Uh, they're going to put pressure on you. Uh, their pitching staff is outstanding. Uh, power arms, deep staff, guys that are starting and doing very well. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big challenge, no question about it. But, again, with all the stuff that you mentioned, and as good as they are, we, we got to do what we're capable of doing. And, and uh, if we don't do that, it's not going to even be competitive, obviously. You mentioned that pitching staff. How does a game like Tuesday against Limestone, where you're a patient at the plate, help get you set for a series this weekend that typically is low scoring against Newberry? I don't know. I don't know how it affects it, to be honest with you. You'd like to think it carries over, but we're not playing them. We didn't play them Wednesday. You know, there are is three day, two days. They're going to be off before we go back out there, and there'll be different type pitchers and environments different. And who knows what an eighteen to twenty three year old is thinking at that time? Uh, so I don't. We don't know. Sometimes we don't know exactly what we're getting, and you just wait till that day. You try to prepare each day. Um, yesterday's practice was was unbelievable. Uh, we talked about Monday about how we were going to come in and look at the last part of this season down the stretch, what we needed to do better on and off the field, more focus, more sacrifices, and um, we want to win each day. Well, we won Monday, we we won Tuesday, we won yesterday. We pl we we practiced great, energy, passion, execution. Uh, it was a good workout on the field. This morning they had a good lift. Um, we Dealing with the elements, we'll get something done today to make sure that we win today. And then tomorrow morning all we can worry about is that first pitch, um, one pitch at a time, um, take care of the baseball and, and do what we're capable of doing. Uh, you mentioned the other day that there were 25 guaranteed days left of baseball remaining. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a tough stretch. Three of the next four sack series are against three of the top four teams in the conference. What do you want to see mentally from your team getting ready for this big stretch? Good question. I think what all coaches want. Just at the end of the day, can we look at ourselves and say we, we played our best? We were involved. We played with passion. Um, are we going to make errors? Yes. Are we going to have some bad at-bats yet? But don't let that carry over. Handle the adversity. Handle the punch in the mouth. Get back up. The body language being positive. If we can do that, whatever happens, happens. We don't have control over that. All we're asking them is to be the best they can be that day and control the things they can control and handle the things that go wrong in a better manner. And... Um, and that's all our goal is. Um, you know, we can look at the wins and what we need to do, but if we do that each day, then we feel like we'll be competitive. It doesn't guarantee wins, but it's very similar to life. No matter if we put money in the plate when it gets passed around on Sunday, which I hope you do, mm -hmm. um, whether it's opening doors and serve, that doesn't guarantee happiness. God's going to make sure that we get both ends. And, and that's, that's a microcosm of life of what we see in baseball is what we're going to see. Um, we got to handle adversity, and, but we still got to be faithful to what our cause and what our purpose is. And if we lose that, then we're in trouble on the field or off the field. And I think our guys, um, it was kind of what we needed to do Monday, was kind of re-look into that, uh, investigate again where we're at and what we need to do. And uh, um, so far, so good. We know there's going to be a bump in the road, um, but we feel like uh, we'll be prepared to handle that. As a coaching staff, 
Um, you know, that's something we've talked about as a staff is just let's pay attention to all the details and the little things. Let's not let them go unnoticed at this time. Keep our guys focused. Keep them driving. Coach, appreciate the time. As always, looking forward to the weekend. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you. All three games will be brought to you live on video and audio on seeneagles.com slash live. For Carson Newman, Coach Tom Griffin, I'm Michael Watcher, and this is seeneagles.com.